feel free to if you want to say anything about what you're doing. Or oh, okay, sure. You can. It's up to you. All right, right now I'm pulling. Oh, we have two visitors watching. No, on the oh, okay, broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> two people joined in. So you're making a vase there making on your vase. wheel? So I start with making a volcano, and then I start opening the volcano by pulling the weight up from the outside. And your hands are on the inside and the outside pulling it up. And in theory, they're parallel. We have a small crowd gathering here, watching Amy make this vase. So right now, what I'm going for is for the walls to be totally even from top to bottom. The thickness? Mm -hmm, in thickness. But just about every pot has a thicker bottom and a weak spot right about here. So I see. You always go for perfection, and you accept the reality a little bit. Uh huh. But the idea is to pull a cylinder without having it flare out, and if you can do that, then you can shape it um, without it collapsing. Okay, and belly it up. Belly it out. So I'm going to basically, instead of pulling up straight, I'm just really it's still a squeeze, but I'm going to start working my way up. So I follow an angle. So you're enlarging the width. I, okay, I see. Yeah, every time you pull the play, it's pressure with both hands because you create a memory to your play. And if you're just smoothing over it, not squeezing, then it's basically centered in a different way in that one section. So if I start the pull, I have to complete the pull. I see. Nice, it's starting to take a shape. And I can see the concentric rings going up as you're pulling. And would that be a color that stays with the pot yeah, after so firing? Yeah, it would fire in. So like if I had some blue, I could paint it on there now and then I could scratch through it. And I see. It's always fun. Yeah, I remember when we used the kiln in our schools, uh, we would apply uh, the, the glaze and the, the paint. But uh, it wasn't the, the one she's talking about. We had to do it separately. So after we really fired it first, we had to take it out, glaze, and then paint it again, so we have to do it three times. Nice! And so, now we're not really at the finishing touch. Where the top comes out. Wow! And then I look at it, because that's the most important thing. Because when you look over top of something, you can't really see it. You can't see the shape, so you got to look back. And I'm going to take a peek inside. Very nice. 
Well, thank you. I'm going to um, take the camera over to show some of your completed pieces while I'm standing here. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. These are some of Amy's finished works.